Technology. What would our world be without it? Today we have Web 3.0, the sharing and interactive user experience. Web 3.0 has changed the way we live. From Facebook likes, tweets, comments, and viral YouTube videos, to cloud computing and location-based services, Web 3.0 is about enriching the experience and enriching the structure. Tim O'Reilly, the founder of O'Reilly Media and known for popularizing the term Web 2.0, feels that as we continue to move forward with technology, mobile technology, sensors, and speech and face recognition make computing far more ambient than it is at present. Today is just the beginning of a new age, but now consumers are asking, what about privacy? Our current privacy laws take a sectoral approach in protecting the privacy of its users. Aside from the protection of many government documents, there is no one overruling law for the new technology that you are using. It is our job as consumers, as well as corporations, to keep the protection covered. Have you read your rights on Facebook, Twitter, your favorite websites? The Ford Foundation's panel of experts on privacy discussed the issue of sectoral laws, coming to the conclusion that while desirable, it will take cooperation. The FTC does ensure privacy is upheld, deeming anything unfair or deceptive. So we have brought more than 100 spam and spyware cases. Uh, we have brought more than 30 cases, actually 40 cases now, uh, against companies that had inadequate data security, and as a result, there were, there were breaches. Uh, we have brought major cases against uh, uh, Google and, uh, and Facebook uh, uh, for uh, not honoring their commitments to privacy, saying we'll keep certain information private. Essentially, though, as a prosecutor, and I think we both agree, the FTC as well, that we've got a big stick but we also have a big carrot, and my inclination is to first pull out the carrot, and then when necessary, we'll pull out our stick. And so in this new and exciting world, there are also vulnerable people, and we have to make sure that we keep them safe. And this is where we have to balance the interests. While the FTC and states do have authority, it is tough to prove unfairness, and there is a belief that businesses will have goodwill and collaborate with the consumers. The balance of interests is becoming increasingly risky, and without a higher structure of enforcement, there will be no balance. Obama is working toward net protection, but I argue that we need to move toward a comprehensive approach. The European Union is currently using a law that could inspire the U.S. to increase protection through government instead of trusting corporations to do the right thing. The panel discussed the idea of not using the big stick until necessary, but as we quickly move into more data usage and technology updates itself, the time will come and we won't be ready. Currently, new apps and products develop. We have been working rules to fit and consumers are now uneducated on their rights and protections. This could be the consumer's fault, as we aren't reading into the privacy rights but it is also the corporation and data collection company's fault, as they are taking the competitive edge at the expense of the user. So, uh, at the end of last year, we released a report on privacy, and it called for more privacy by design, which is critically important when you develop these really new apps. Uh, you know, make sure there are privacy protections in it. Uh, it, called for, uh, it called for more choice. It called for more transparency. But the most important thing, it seems to me, um, and I think to most of us up here, is setting the rules of the road going forward. While the ultimate goal is to protect the user's privacy, Losing a little choice along the way is a price we might have to pay if we want to keep our private lives private.